went to high school in Kansas, college in Kansas. So what was that experience like? I'm sure you, you had other offers, but ending, ending up staying in your, in your home. It was a dream school. I mean, I've had three other siblings you know, go through there, so I've been on campus a lot growing up. Um, but it was obviously a whole different kind of aspect to it, being recruited and seeing kind of the background of the basketball side of the school. And I think just being out there for the games at a young age really played a big role in it. Um, obviously being in Kansas played a big role in just um, the coaching staff, I mean, the history of the school in general. I mean, you got the, the rules of basketball you know, in Lawrence. So um, the history there when you walk in Allen Fieldhouse, it's just a, it's a whole different feeling that I've never felt. So it was really you know, an easy choice to, you know, to make. You have some toughness to you, some grit. Where does that come from in your life? I think that's just how I've always been. You know, another thing that played a big part in that was just my siblings, I think, beating me up uh, you know, at a young age, me being the youngest and just kind of you know, throwing around on the basketball court. And just, um, I was never you know, allowed to win anything until I you know, got to that point where I earned it. So uh, once I got to that point, you know, it really built me into the, you know, the person that I am today. And that's just where I have the most fun playing. You know, when I have that competitiveness and just yelling, you know, talking trash in games, whatever it may be, just having that energy throughout games, um, it just makes it a whole lot more fun to me. Being the youngest, at what point, like you said, you have to earn your stripes, mm -hmm. earn your respect. At what point did you start winning those games? I think the first games would probably start with ping pong. I think that was the first where I started to get better than my, my siblings, but my brothers, they couldn't, they couldn't mess with me in ping pong. <laughs> but I mean, the basketball court, um, that's probably started as I got into high school. I mean, Probably, yeah, probably freshman, sophomore years when I started winning every single game. You know, they can you know, say that's true, but um, now we got to play this horse because I don't know if they can keep up too much. So being at Kansas, you dealt with a lot, you know, in terms of other fans and, you know, chants and things things of that sort. At what age do you feel like, I got to have thick skin, I'm good for it? Um, probably, I mean, middle school. My, both my brothers were, you know, going through a high school, um, seeing, you know, their kind of crowd reactions in their high school games. but. And I obviously knew that was going to come with mine, but I love it. I mean, it's just excitement and people are focused on me, so I'm like, yeah, focus on me and then you know, go out there and play my game and do what I do. And that just makes it a whole lot sweeter when I you know, play well and you know, beat their team. And um, throughout the college experience with, you know, I love all the banners, all the, all the signs that go with it. And like I said, getting, getting to beat those teams and those rivalries are what make it all you know, worth it. What's the craziest thing you've heard or seen or what, what's the craziest sign you've seen? A lot of that stuff I probably can't say on camera, gotcha, but, gotcha. but a lot of it is like, you know, just college kids being college kids and, you know, the banners. I mean, you can probably imagine what some of them say and just the chance, but I think just me, I, I, I'm a goofy person, so I mean, all that stuff, I'm probably laughing during the games and just when the camera's, you know, not on me, I'm probably just talking to my other teammates about, you know, you see that, you see that banner up there, just like, just making jokes, but I love it all, so. What are some of the role models you've looked at, guys you might want to model your mm -hmm. game after? Um, guys that are versatile, um, not really one main player, but like, guys like Paul George, you know, with his height, the way he can kind of handle the rock and still like, you know, get to his spots and different things like that and just shows versatility on the court is stuff I try to um, add to my stuff and um, guys, obviously, shooters, Clay Thompson, you know, his footwork is you know, one of the best, you know, the way he gets squared up on the basket is what I try to um, model um, and then, you know, great shooters, obviously, you have to watch Steph and um, you see this year with um, kind of these podcasts coming out of his underrated, you know, conditioning, you know, how he runs around and, you know, exhausts the defense and makes it, you know, like impossible to guard him and still get shots up uh, for him. And so um, knowing that as a shooter and what you can kind of do to get defenses to kind of, you know, chill out on you is important as a shooter and just a player in general. So. When you're thinking about the next level, are you thinking about, I want to play this specific role or are you thinking like whatever I can do to be on the court and win games? Like how do you shape your focus? Yeah, um, my mindset going into um, whoever I get drafted by is just to do anything in my power, you know, like you said, to win. And, you know, a lot of players, you know, can kind of say that. But I think my mindset is just I'm going to go into any organization, any city, and um, really just buy into the team. Like, I'm the type of player where I honestly don't care what my role is. You know, they give me the role, they tell me what to do. And, you know, I'm just going to go there and try to perfect it as best I can. And um, I've never really been the player to kind of, you know, play bigger than myself. You know, I'm, I know my game, you know better than anyone, obviously, because it's my game. So I'm not going to go there and try to be someone who I'm not. You're going to be in the NBA here soon. There's a lot of ways to study the game, film mm -hmm. sessions, you know, mentorship, things like that. What are you going to focus on mostly here the next several months? Yeah, I think there's you know a ton of important things you can do on the court, obviously, with um, just getting better um, and getting more prepared for um, the, my rookie season. But I think off the court, what I'm trying to just 
Uh, maintain is really just the nutrition part of everything. You know, I've, I've learned a lot about some helpful things of, you know, what really goes into, you know, keeping your body right. You know, you learn a lot about, you know, how much the guys kind of um, take, you know, spending money on just, you know, diets and, um, you know, chefs and everything like that. And it's, you know, cool to see, you know, the transformations that they make. And, you know, it's just kind of the stuff a lot of people kind of maybe pass over and see that, you know, you get your body right, you, know, you can you know, stay and play for a lot more years than, you know, you think you can. So just, you know, keeping those little things um, in your head and just knowing that they're actually big in the end. So. You're going to be a rookie here soon. Yeah. Summer leagues is right around the corner in a couple months. What is your biggest goal as you start your NBA career? Um, just be prepared, you know, from the get-go. Hit the ground running. Um, do everything in my power that you know gives me the best opportunity to to um, just be who I am as a player, and then you know just give the, the city and the organization who drafted me you know the player that they they wanted. So just to, yeah, like I said, just go and be be consistent. Um, all the work that you know I've done in the past, just know that in my head that is paying off, and that um, there's still more work to do. When I get drafted, that's when everything begins. That's not the end goal at all. So just keeping that in my head and. Yeah, hit the ground running.